Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Venom Machine Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the price on an N1 VMC Retrofit Kit or Vending Machine Controller. I'm going to show you how to set the price for an individual selection, how to set the price for an entire tray, as well as how to set the price for the entire machine at once. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below and make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's get started. The VMC Retrofit Kit by N1 is an aftermarket control board that gets installed into snack machines that were out before the adaption of MDB and credit card readers. By installing these retrofit kits into your snack machine, you're breathing new life into the snack machine. Now these retrofit kits can be found on automatic products, Crane National, they can be found on Row, Polyvan, and even USI snack machines. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using this Crane National 147 behind me here that has the VMC retrofit kit installed. I'm gonna show you how to navigate the menu system and how to set the prices. So the first thing we need to do, we're going to need to open the door on the machine. Now once you've opened the main door, your next step is to press the service mode button which can be found on the VMC control board. Now it's physically mounted to the control board and it's typically a beige or yellow button. Now on a Crane National 147 and 148 snack machine, that board is located on the right hand side wall of the machine behind the monetary door. So I'm simply going to open up the monetary door and press the service mode button which was mounted on this panel right here. Press the button one time and the machine is now entered into service mode. You will know this because it will say main menu key one for help or it will say errors key one for help. Now the nice thing about the N1 controller is that when you first press the service mode button it does give you a help menu if you forget how to navigate their system. Because this is a universal style control board it has different key presses to navigate the menu based upon the type of machine you have. So you can always press key 1 and look at the instructions on how to navigate the menu for your machine. Now this machine also has a sticker indicating which buttons you will need to press depending on the model and make of your machine. Now I'll go ahead and put a link in the description with a screenshot of this so you can download it. Now on this particular machine we are running a Crane National 147 and 148 and if I look across here for a Crane National I need to have the pound key is going to be my enter or execute key, the star key or asterisk key is going to be my cancel key, and to navigate the menu up and down, I'm going to be pressing F for my up arrow and J for my down arrow. So those are the keys I'm going to use to navigate the menu system. So once we have key 1 for help, I can press the F or J key to navigate the menu. Now if you have error, system errors, key 1 for help, you just need to hit the cancel button. Again, on a Crane National, that cancel button is the asterisk or star key. So here I have main menu key one for help and I'm going to navigate to find the prices. So I'm going to press the J key for down and the first time you press it you'll notice that you'll always have a blinking cursor located at the bottom left hand side of the screen. This is an indication of where you are in the menu. So I continue to press the J key until I find price. At this point I have the blinking P of price meaning if I hit the execute or enter key I'll enter the price setting menu. So I'll go ahead and press the pound key at this point and here I have price menu key one for help. Again we've got that special help menu whenever we're at the top level of menu in case you forget where you are and how to navigate the menu. So I'm going to descend down until I find the first option which is single product and here we have a blinking S for single product it lets me know that this is the area I'm at if I was to press the execute key. So at this point we can now set the price for a single product. So I'm going to go ahead and set the price for A0 to $1. So I'm going to go ahead and hit execute or enter and here it says enter a selection. I simply key in A0 and here it's currently set for 60 cents. I'm going to got a blinking zero on the six, zero of 60 cents. I'm going to go ahead and key that in to a dollar. So I'm going to hit one zero zero and here it tells me on the screen to press the pound key to save. Once it's saved it now brings you back out of the menu 
or single product. So here, if I wanted to price another single item, I would need to enter back into single product. So for example, let's make A2 to a dollar as well. So I press the pound key to enter, and here it's telling me, ask me for the selection. I hit A2, A2, and I'm gonna go ahead and set the price of A2 to $1. I key in the $1 price, and then I press the pound key. And now at this point, I've saved A0 and A2 to $1. Now we have another option available to us. We can, instead of going to each individual selection, we can set the entire tray at once. So to do that, I'm gonna to navigate to find the tray option. So I press the J key, and here we have entire row. So if I hit execute at this point, or enter, I now it tells me to ask me to enter in the tray I want to price. So let's go ahead and price the B tray to $1.25. So it says enter tray, since my tray starts with a B, that is the B tray, I press B, and here we've got a price of 75 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and key in my $1.25 price, I'm gonna hit one, two, five, I'm gonna press the pound key for my execute or save, and now I've set the entire tray to $1.25. We have another option available to us, and this is actually we can set the entire machine at once to one single price. To do that, I'm going to press the J key. So now we have entire machine with the blinking E of entire machine. So here I press the execute or enter by pressing pound. And at this point, we have a dollar shown on the screen, and I want to set the entire machine to $2. So I'm gonna create the $2 price, hit two, zero, zero. And then here I'm gonna press the pound key to save that price, which will assign that price to everything inside the machine. Now once you're done setting all the prices on your machine, you simply close the main door and the board will put itself back into sales mode. Now I hope you found this video useful of how to set the prices on an N1 UCB retrofit kit found on several different types of machines, such as the automatic products, Crane National, Row, Polyvend, and USI snack vending machines. Again, if you found this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below and make sure you hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.